Welcome back in. It's mid-morning on WKYT. Sure is good to have you with us here on Labor Day for 2017. The Art Croft Art and Antique Festival is an event for antique hunters and art enthusiasts alike. And Robert Barker is here to tell us about that. Thank you for coming in. We really appreciate it. Appreciate being here this morning. Uh, first of all, tell us about this uh, incredible effort that you have done over there in Millersburg, uh, the, the Art Croft. You have several properties, and you have a lot going on uh, with uh, arts and crafts over there. Tell us about it. Well, we do. Artcroft is an artist residency program that we founded in 1999, and uh, we've been hosting artists internationally and nationally uh, to do creative projects that they design for themselves. And we have them in the community, and they do programming in cooperation with other cultural groups, such as the Hopewell Museum and, and uh, lecture and give readings, workshops, things of this kind. So it's a learning opportunity as well for people. It is, it is. We try and include the public as best we can. And part of the uh, process of engaging with the public is this is uh, Millersburg's bicentennial year. And we're, we're hosting this Art and Antique Festival as part of that celebration, along with a quilt show in our gallery on Main Street and uh, there's, that's uh, quite exciting because there'll be any number of antique quilts and modern quilts that'll be evaluated and exhibited on Friday and Saturday of that same week. Um, Quilting is not an easy thing to do, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it is labor intensive and it's considered one of the decorative arts. And, uh, this event uh, that is coming up, it'll be uh, all day long. This uh, really, I mean, people just have to come to Millersburg to, to see what you've done there in terms of sort of not only branding the town, but following through with the, with uh, with this uh, effort. It's a major project that we've undertaken, and uh, we're we're midway in the process of getting the doors open and uh, engaging more with the public and having artists in the community. Uh, we're fortunate to have several professional artists living in town, and with their own studios, and and many of them are gallery represented and things of this kind. So. We hope that with the town changing, there's a bypass coming through and it will become a quieter, more pedestrian town. But we're fortunate to be 30 minutes away from Lexington by car. And uh, so it's an easy day trip and uh, you can come there and, and enjoy the town. It's very charming in itself. It has a long history and many uh, attractive buildings and things to do in the region. I know you have uh, many uh, enthusiastic supporters, but there, of course, uh, also are people who've never been before. So now's your chance to uh, stop by Millersburg Saturday from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. at the Millersburg Civic Center. Free admission, and uh, people can uh, can learn lots on that day. Well, we're going to have some very high-quality antique dealers, uh, ranging from price to $100 to several thousand dollars if you're collecting fine furnitures. Uh, our artists are... are well recognized and have done many public commissions at the University of Kentucky and Cincinnati hospitals and things of this kind. All right. uh, Robert, thank you for coming by and good luck with it. Well, thank you very much for letting us speak to you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir.